Hello, welcome back. Um, today uh, we're gonna uh, go over uh, an exercise where we're gonna find the derivative of a function by using uh, the limit uh, process. Um, so limit process uh, was the stuff that we learned in chapter two, so we gained all the skill. And this formula is the definition of uh, the derivative of a function f. There are alternate uh, ways to represent the derivative of a function. All right, now let's try to find um, f prime of x. Uh, but first, I'm going to find the ratio in the limit expression. We were doing this in pre-calculus in a way that, you know, we change the input here in the description of f to x plus delta x, so that this x is going to switch to x plus delta x. So in, in turn, and I'm going to divide this by delta x. And obviously you realize that um, uh, we need to do some uh, simplification here because if we pass the limit for this ratio at this moment, since delta x approaches zero, so this term approaches one over x quantity squared, and the top of this ratio would just converge to zero. And since delta x converges to zero, this becomes zero over zero. And remember uh, in chapter two that zero over zero is one of the indeterminate forms. So to avoid that, we try to find another version of the function by going through uh, a simplification process. So we're gonna do the same thing here. So why don't we find a common denominator and bring these two ratios into one uh, ratio. The way we simplify the top is to find a common denominator. The common denominator is gonna be the product of these two. So to achieve that common denominator, the first ratio is multiplied, uh, multiplied and divided by x squared. The second ratio is multiplied and divided by x plus delta x quantity squared. Okay, so let's see what we have here. Well, let's continue with uh, simplifying this expression. So as you see, the top side here can be also simplified by expanding this uh, square, I mean the quantity square uh, term. So let's just try to simplify the top right here. So x squared minus the quantity square of x plus delta x, that's equal to x squared plus two x delta x plus delta x quantity squared. All right, as you see, the x squared term uh, cancels this x squared term. So the top is simplified to minus two x uh, delta x minus delta x squared. And as you see, delta x is a common factor. So we may need that along the way to simplify this expression further. All right, so delta x factored out, x squared, x plus delta x squared. As you see, there is a delta x term here. So this is a rational expression dividing uh, just delta x. But we want to make it look like rational expression dividing a rational expression. So for that reason, I can put a 1 here underneath. And then when you do division of two rationals, you flip the bottom over. So I'm going to flip this as 1 over delta x. So this kind of like trick allows me to cancel out delta x's, top and bottom, so that the whole expression reduces to. So at this moment, we can stop and check if the limit operation is gonna work on the simplified version of the original uh, function or ratio. So let me just clean this. All right, uh, for this limit, we're gonna use our uh, skill that we developed in chapter two. Uh, we're just gonna substitute zero for delta x uh, to see if this limit is gonna make some sense. Well, uh, this delta x is zero, the top converges to negative two x, and the bottom converges to x squared times um, x plus zero squared, that's another uh, x squared, okay? So I can simplify this expression by dividing top and the bottom out by x. At the top, I'm left with negative two, and in the bottom, I'm left with x cubed. So this implies that um, f prime of x, or with the other notation, uh, dy over dx is exactly equal to negative two over x cubed. This is the derivative of the function uh, one over x squared.
All right, thanks for watching. This is the end of the video.